You know what I love the most about my kids? I love that my kids don't add stress to my life. I got enough stress going on as it is. I want marriage number two. That within itself is stressful. The reason why, sir, is because this marriage has to work. It has to. You don't want to get to marriage three, four, and five. When you get there, at that point, you're not even looking for love. You're just looking for a death buddy. You're looking for somebody to die with. You try and die together? Yes or no? I'd die with you if you die with me. You want to die together? <laughs> Crazy thing about my relationship is that it's on display. Everybody can see it. Everybody can judge it. I don't give a shit. I don't care. It's the bed I made for myself. I lay in it. What makes me laugh is when people act like they live my life. Like you walk in my shoes. Shit hit the fan for me in my marriage. Everybody had an opinion. Ugh, ugh, ugh. <laughs> Kevin Hart did it again. Kevin Hart fucked up again. I want to make something perfectly clear to everybody here tonight. I did not fuck up again, okay? In my first marriage, I filed for a divorce. That means that I chose to leave. That means that I made a better decision for me in my life. That's not fucking up. That's me moving on, okay? Fucking up. Yes. Yes. But I don't like it when people act like you plan to fuck up. Nobody plans to fuck up. That's why it's called the fuck up. You don't walk outside like today's the perfect day for a fuck up. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking up all day today. This is, this is fuck up weather. That's what this is. That's, that's not how it happens. The important thing is to learn from it. You got to learn from your fuck ups. Lesson number one that I learned is that whatever happens in Vegas does not stay in Vegas. Don't believe that shit. That commercial is a goddamn lie. It should be taken off of television. For the first time in my life, I had to look in the mirror. I had to look in the mirror. I had to have a conversation with myself. God damn it, Kevin. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're almost 40 years old. You're still doing the same dumb shit. Grow up. Grow up. And me realizing that I had to grow up, that meant I had to go back to my wife, make my wife feel secure in understanding that I was done doing the dumb shit. That put me in heavy kiss my wife's ass mode. That's a bad place to be, fellas. I don't know if you ever been there or not, but it's a fucked up place. You do the same thing every day. Yep, yep, yep. Whatever you need, whatever you need. This is all you do every day. Yep, yep, yep. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I do it, I do it, I do it, I do it, I do it every day. With that being said, now when you try to fight to make sure this woman feels secure, you end up becoming insecure as a man. The reason why is because you're questioning yourself. Is she happy? Is she satisfied? Is the sex still good? I'm gonna ask her. Nope, I can't. If I ask her, I look weak. Now you start searching. True story. I went out, I bought a mirror, put it on my ceiling for no reason at all. It was a Tuesday. This is a true story. You don't do no shit like that on a Tuesday. That's a weekend move, not a Tuesday move. It was all good until I caught a reflection of myself in that mirror when we were fucking. Let me tell you something, people. Whatever you think you look like when you fucking, I promise you, you don't look like that. I promise you. I'm not talking about you posing in front of the mirror. I'm talking about an unexpected glimpse of yourself in the goddamn mirror. I saw the bottom of my feet. I have never been more disgusted with myself as a man until I saw the bottom of my goddamn feet. My feet were black as shit. Where was I at? I didn't wear shoes today? Jesus Christ. I wouldn't fuck nobody with feet like this. This is disgusting. My back was ashy. I had bumps on my ass. When my ass break out like this? Had a full batch of measles on my ass and didn't know it. I immediately booked the doctor's appointment. Y'all gotta fix this. I got braille on my butt. This is disgusting. <laughs> Whenever you go through any insecurities, especially when it comes, every man in this room has turned to porn at some point in time. Stupidest shit that a man can do. Here's why I say it's stupid. We don't give people to do porn enough credit and enough respect. Those people are professional actors and actresses. That's what they do for a living. You can't just watch that shit and go home and try it. It don't work like that. That's like watching a karate movie, going outside, getting in a fight, telling everybody to back up so you can roundhouse kick this nigga in the head. You don't know how to do that kick. It's the same thing with porn. I'm not speaking to you from a hypothetical place. I've been there. I've done it. I've tried it. I watched porn with my wife. Tried to do the shit that I saw. I was nervous about it. So I was having a conversation with myself. Should I do it? Should I fucking do it? Should I try it? I had good Kevin on this side. Bad Kevin was on this side. Good Kevin popped up. Good Kevin had on a pair of khakis and a V-neck sweater. He said, absolutely not. Don't do it. As a good woman, you talk to her first. 
Bad Kevin popped up. Bad Kevin had on a pair of leather pants and a fishnet tank top, and he was doing this. Bad Kevin. <laughs> Bad Kevin said, you going to listen to a man with khakis on? No, no. He said, do it then, do it. Out of nowhere, I spit on my wife. Puh, it's quick. Right in her fucking forehead. Puh. A loogie right in her goddamn forehead. Nothing, it was quiet. Out of nowhere, she was like, you just fucking spit on me! The complete opposite reaction from the lady in the porn. The lady in the porn went crazy when it happened. She was like, ah, ah, this spit making me so hot, ah, this spit gonna make me come, ah. In my mind, I was like, that's how you make them come. You gotta spit on their fucking hands. I've been doing it wrong all this time. I haven't told my wife, you're not doing it right. You gotta rub it in, that's how you fucking come. I had to go downstairs to get a baby wipe, clean her head off. That was embarrassing. I go to get back in the bed. She want to talk about it. What did I tell you guys? I don't like to talk. Let it float in the air and disappear. I don't want to talk about it. As soon as I get in the bed, she was like, did you really just spit on me? I almost lied. I almost lied. Even though I know that she know that I know I did it, I almost fucking lied. The reason why is because bad Kevin popped back up. Bad Kevin was like, say it was a leak in the ceiling. I said, no, get the hell out of here, bad Kevin. Yes, yes, I spit on you. I was watching porn, I saw some shit, I tried it. She said, Kevin, let me tell you something. I don't care if you watch porn. Don't be stupid enough to bring the shit that you saw in our house. She said, I watch porn all the time. I don't try to do the shit that I saw to you. I said, uh, back the fuck up. <laughs> when did this become a whorehouse? <laughs> the hell you mean you watching porn? What the hell are you watching? She was like, mm-hmm, everything. <laughs> Instantly it got hurt. The reason why it hurt me is because I fucking couldn't separate my pride from reality. This is a problem that all men have. See, reality is if she wanna watch porn, she can watch porn. If I wanna watch porn, I can watch porn. That's how it should be. But my pride, my pride wouldn't let it be that way. My pride wanted to know what she was watching. I wanna see it. Let me see it with my eyes. I wanna see it. She said, you wanna see it? Let me see it. She got a laptop, opened it up. She said, my porn search is in my cookies. All you gotta do is search my cookies. I said, well, you better get me a glass of milk because I'm about to eat all these goddamn cookies. The shit that I'm reason why is because her porn search was the complete opposite of who I am. Everything I saw was big. Everything was big. Big balls to the walls, big backs on big blacks, big cocks and socks. What the fuck is going on? What? One of the sites wasn't even porn. One of the sites was a bunch of tall men being active. They were changing light bulbs, putting shit on shelves, hanging paintings. What kind of sick shit is this? What the fuck is this? She was like, what? You can't do none of that stuff. I like that stuff. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> I went out, I bought me one of them grab sticks after that. You know those sticks? <laughs> they got the claw on it that you can grab stuff. I went and bought one, I didn't tell her. I just put it under my bed, waited for the next time we was having sex. I was like, yo, you know this picture about the bed is crooked. She was, like, she was like, don't worry about it, we'll get somebody to come and fix it. And I, I was like, or not. And I fucking, I, I got the stick. She was like, ah, ah. You fucking like that shit, you like that shit? Grab stick, save my marriage is what I'm trying to tell y'all, man. You know what I love the most about my kids? I love that my kids don't add stress to my life. I got enough stress going on as it is. I want marriage number two. That within itself is stressful. The reason why, sir, is because this marriage has to work. It has to. You don't want to get the marriage three, four, and five. When you get there, at that point, you're not even looking for love. You just looking for a death buddy. You're looking for somebody to die with. You try and die together? Yes or no? I'd die with you if you die with me. You want to die together? 
crazy thing about my relationship is that it's on display. Everybody can see it. Everybody can judge it. I don't give a shit. I don't care. It's the bed I made for myself. I lay in it. What makes me laugh is when people act like they live my life. Like you walk in my shoes. Shit hit the fan for me in my marriage. Everybody had an opinion. Ugh, ugh, ugh. <laughs> Kevin Hart did it again. Kevin Hart fucked up again. I want to make something perfectly clear to everybody here tonight. I did not fuck up again, okay? In my first marriage, I filed for a divorce. That means that I chose to leave. That means that I made a better decision for me in my life. That's not fucking up, that's me moving on, okay? Fucking up, yes, yes. But I don't like it when people act like you plan to fuck up. Nobody plans to fuck up. That's why it's called a fuck up. You don't walk outside like today's the perfect day for a fuck up. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking up all day today. This is, this is fuck up weather. That's what this is. That's, that's not how it happens. The important thing is to learn from it. You gotta learn from your fuck ups. Lesson number one that I learned is that whatever happens in Vegas does not stay in Vegas. Don't believe that shit. That commercial is a goddamn lie. It should be taken off of television. For the first time in my life, I had to look in the mirror. I had to look in the mirror. I had to have a conversation with myself. God damn it, Kevin. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're almost 40 years old. You're still doing the same dumb shit. Grow up. Grow up. And me realizing that I had to grow up, that meant I had to go back to my wife, make my wife feel secure in understanding that I was done doing the dumb shit. That put me in heavy kiss my wife's ass mode. That's a bad place to be, fellas. I don't know if you ever been there or not, but it's a fucked up place. You do the same thing every day. Yep, yep, yep. Whatever you need, whatever you need. This is all you do every day. Yep, yep, yep. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I do it, I do it, I do it, I do it, I do it every day. With that being said, now when you try to fight to make sure this woman feels secure, you end up becoming insecure as a man. The reason why is because you're questioning yourself. Is she happy? Is she satisfied? Is the sex still good? I'm gonna ask her. Nope, I can't. If I ask her, I look weak. Now you start searching. True story. I went out, I bought a mirror, put it on my ceiling for no reason at all. It was a Tuesday. This is a true story. You don't do no shit like that on a Tuesday. That's a weekend move, not a Tuesday move. It was all good until I caught a reflection of myself in that mirror when we were fucking. Let me tell you something, people. Whatever you think you look like when you fucking, I promise you, you don't look like that. I promise you. I'm not talking about you posing in front of the mirror. I'm talking about an unexpected glimpse of yourself in the goddamn mirror. I saw the bottom of my feet. I have never been more disgusted with myself as a man until I saw the bottom of my goddamn feet. My feet were black as shit. Where was I at? I didn't wear shoes today? Jesus Christ. I wouldn't fuck nobody with feet like this. This is disgusting. My back was ashy. I had bumps on my ass. When my ass break out like this? Had a full batch of measles on my ass and didn't know it. I immediately booked the doctor's appointment. Y'all gotta fix this. I got braille on my butt. This is disgusting. <laughs> Whenever you go through any insecurities, especially when it comes, every man in this room has turned to porn at some point in time. Stupid as shit that a man can do. Here's why I say it's stupid. We don't give people that do porn enough credit and enough respect. Those people are professional actors and actresses. That's what they do for a living. You can't just watch that shit and go home and try it. It don't work like that. That's like watching a karate movie, going outside, getting in a fight, telling everybody to back up so you can roundhouse kick this nigga in the head. You don't know how to do that kick. It's the same thing with porn. I'm not speaking to you from a hypothetical place. I've been there. I've done it. I've tried it. I watched porn with my wife. Tried to do the shit that I saw. I was nervous about it. So I was having a conversation with myself. Should I do it? Should I fucking do it? Should I try it? I had good Kevin on this side, bad Kevin was on this side. Good Kevin popped up. Good Kevin had on a pair of khakis and a V-neck sweater. He said, absolutely not. Don't do it. As a good woman, you talk to her first. Bad Kevin popped up. Bad Kevin had on a pair of leather pants and a fishnet tank top, and he was doing this. Bad Kevin. Bad Kevin said, you going to listen to a man with khakis on? No, no. He said, do it then, do it. Out of nowhere, I spit on my wife. Puh, it's quick. Right in her fucking forehead. Puh. A loogie right in her goddamn forehead. Nothing, it was quiet. Out of nowhere, she was like, you just fucking spit on me! The complete opposite reaction from the lady in the porn. The lady in the porn went crazy when it happened. She was like, ah, 
<laughs> ah, this spit making me so hot. Ah, this spit gonna make me come. Ah. In my mind, I was like, that's how you make them come. You gotta spit on their fucking hands. I've been doing it wrong all this time. I haven't told my wife, you're not doing it right. You gotta rub it in. That's how you fucking come. I had to go downstairs, get a baby wipe, clean her head off. That was embarrassing. I go to get back in the bed. She want to talk about it. What did I tell you guys? I don't like to talk. Let it float in the air and disappear. I don't want to talk about it. As soon as I get in the bed, she was like, did you really just spit on me? I almost lied. I almost lied. Even though I know that she know that I know I did it, I almost fucking lied. The reason why is because bad Kevin popped back up. Bad Kevin was like, say it was a leak in the ceiling. I said, no, get the hell out of here, bad Kevin. Yes, yes, I spit on you. I was watching porn, I saw some shit, I tried it. She said, Kevin, let me tell you something. I don't care if you watch porn. Don't be stupid enough to bring the shit that you saw in our house. She said, I watch porn all the time. I don't try to do the shit that I saw to you. I said, uh, back the fuck up. <laughs> when did this become a whorehouse? <laughs> the hell you mean you watching porn? What the hell are you watching? She was like, mm-hmm, everything. <laughs> Instantly it got hurt. The reason why it hurt me is because I fucking couldn't separate my pride from reality. This is a problem that all men have. See, reality is if she wanna watch porn, she can watch porn. If I wanna watch porn, I can watch porn. That's how it should be. But my pride, my pride wouldn't let it be that way. My pride wanted to know what she was watching. I wanna see it. Let me see it with my eyes. I wanna see it. She said, you wanna see it? Let me see it. She got a laptop, opened it up. She said, my porn search is in my cookies. All you gotta do is search my cookies. I said, well, you better get me a glass of milk because I'm about to eat all these goddamn cookies. The shit that I'm reason why is because her porn search was the complete opposite of who I am. Everything I saw was big. Everything was big. Big balls to the walls, big backs on big blacks, big cocks and socks. What the fuck is going on? One, one of the sites wasn't even porn. One of the sites was a bunch of tall men being active. They were changing light bulbs, putting shit on shelves, hanging paintings. What kind of sick shit is this? What the fuck is this? She was like, what? You can't do none of that stuff. I like that stuff. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> I went out. I bought me one of them grab sticks after that. You know those sticks? They got the claw on it that you can grab stuff. I went and bought one. I didn't tell her. I just put it under my bed, waited for the next time we was having sex. I was like, yo, you know this picture about the bed is crooked. She was, like, she was like, don't worry about it. We'll get somebody to come and fix it. And I, I was like, or not. And I fucking, I, I got the stick. She was like, ah. You fucking like that shit? You like that shit? Grab stick save my marriage is what I'm trying to tell y'all, man. Ha <laughs> ha, bitch! You thought I was joking? We out here doing promo. Q, tell them we doing promo. Promo, bitch. Promo, bitch. Tell them Q. Promo, bitch. Promo, bitch. Tell them again, Q. You know what we doing? Nah, but you tell them. It's better when I you mean, tell. How many times I got? Fine. Right, promo, bitch. We here just touched down in St. Louis. Hey, see what the city is about. What it has to offer. Besides amazing people, because amazing people is what brought us here. And we're gonna see if we can get Kevin Hart on the Clyde's deal. I'm sorry, what? Do you need to kind of schedule time apart from each, each other? A little bit. I don't need the time apart. I'm, I'm confident and secure with this friendship. One of my closest friends, honestly. Best friend, put it, come on. Let, come on, man, one time for the UK people. There it is, come on. Ow, oh, all right. We I'll were so it. close. Will you tell me about the beard real quick? I did it because he did it. No, me, no, he it. had a beard, come on. I called you, I said, are you cutting it or are you leaving it? You said, I'm leaving it. I said, well, guess what just grew? Now you're looking at Kevin Hart, the action star. You know, I'm following 
the footsteps of of like a Tom Cruise, you know, those oh, type of right. guys that Tom Cruise, Jackie Chan, we're all cut from the same cloth. The next Mission Impossible, yeah, like Kevin, stuff like that, like Kevin, hanging off the plane. For him to be, uh, all right, something like it. Tom Cruise is a Mission Impossible. <laughs> yeah, like that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> hit me with one of those action lines. One of my action lines. Yeah, yeah, your action lines. These streets ain't gonna clean itself. <laughs> <laughs> No. Give me about give me a line that you would have. You ain't gonna like how this movie gonna end. Oh, that was good. That was good. Uh, we thought we'd have a go at trying to make you at least smile. Oh, this is gonna be good. Okay. Because okay. I think I'd do quite well in jail, gentlemen. That's all I'm saying. I am one hard motherfucker. It's <laughs> <laughs> the most I've ever seen you laugh, Q. <laughs> <laughs> You're top guys. You are nice. My lyrics are sick and they're proper precise. <laughs> Dog. Straight out of cotton. <laughs> Hi, I'm Andre, and I'm a black nerd, and I'm here with Kevin Hart and Ice Cube from the movie Right Along. <laughs> Did you have to announce that, though? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I gotta let people know. What, when I told you you were gonna interview Ice Cube and Kevin Hart, what did you say? Oh, Ice Cube, I, I love his uh, reality show, and I love Coco, and the, the, the bulldog is just great. And Mom, who did you realize you were talking about? Ice tea. Right. <laughs> A bit of everything, thanks. A bit of everything. <laughs> Living dangerous. Let's start you off here. You want anything on it? You want sprinkles or something? Nothing. Man, I'm gonna get you some damn sprinkles, man. You want sprinkles? He didn't ask for sprinkles. Brother, I put the sprinkles on it, Cube. Don't tell me how to make the. The customer's always right. Don't tell me how to make put ice cream. Because uh, because this morning we got in a fight with an actual ice cube, but it didn't last long because it got quite heated. I think it was genius. Is there no smile? Is there no smile? The ice cube, the ice cube melted. 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 Melted is what they're yeah. saying. I thought it was genius. Okay. Man. I don't, I don't, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to put like a few food intolerances. Okay. Um, I can't have gluten. Is it gluten free? I don't know. Gluten -free? I don't. Gluten free? Okay, cool. Yeah, Here, okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. Here you go. Bam. Okay, here you go. I need you to put that, put that in your system and try not to shit on yourself. So here's the first video. <laughs> yeah. I didn't like that one. I thought that was. Stupid. Cause you dumb. No, that's the you will laugh <laughs> somebody get bumped in the ass. <laughs> what the f <laughs> Man, this is bullshit. <laughs> Fucked up my shoes. <laughs> hey, yep, everybody want this D. Yeah, yeah, everybody want this D. You want this D? <laughs> that was pretty fun. Plane. What's your favorite Kevin Hart movie? 100 Soul, Soul Plane. Damn, Soul Plane. Soul Plane. Soul Plane. Damn. Soul Plane. How Plane. many movies did you do? Right along. Three. Right along. Soul Plane. People love Soul Plane, man. Get Hard. Soul Plane. Soul Plane. The, the industry. I like the movie so when you played the gay referee. Wait, wait did y'all see wait, that? Wait a minute. He I plays mean, a gay referee. That's not. Wait a second. I'm never. Don't you look no, gay? No, not that I would have a problem with it. <laughs> you listen, see, listen. Not that I would have a problem with it because I love everybody. So why are you denying? I don't know, brother. Bro. I stay politically correct at all times. <laughs> you political <laughs> bitch. <laughs> I didn't know that Kevin Hart twerk. You know, sabía que Kevin Hart podía hacer el baile del well, twerking. I didn't know I twerked either until Beyonce started singing uh oh uh oh, uh -oh, uh -oh and it uh -oh. came out. It just came out, but it was the it was the inner Beyonce in me. It's it's the inner twerk. It was in a twerk. thug way. Don't think I was doing it as a as a girl. It was, right. It was a thug. A Macho, thug. real, real, yeah, manly, real, way, real yeah. manly way. We're talking <laughs> about thug. Let's see. Let's see. So look at this. Yes, right. Live. Y'all want a real party? Come what? on. No, brother, get up. Get up out, man. Get up. <laughs> hey, get Kevin. Up, man. Come on, man. My ass. people don't like this. My people get mad at shit like this. I don't care about Kevin's people. <laughs> Is there any way we can get you to twerk to Ice Cube's music? No. 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 Man, no, no what happened? What happened? That's where I draw the line. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can twerk to Beyonce, but don't twerk to uh, check stuff for you wreck yourself. Yeah. It was a good day. Yeah, it can't happen. Them anti-Kevin Hart twerking songs. Yeah, I can't. 
I can't twerk to those songs. Bueno, no que. His career questions, things that fans ask that they want to know, man. Kid, brother, what you doing, Ken? Brother, don't pop up in my feed that fast. What you doing, Ken? Brother, don't pop up in my feed that fast. What are you doing, Last brother? Last man did that, got dealt with. And I'm talking. Oh, yeah. I'm talking on some major. Deal with me. On some major thug shit, brother. Deal with me. You don't want it to be chitty, chitty, bang, bang out here. We can chitty, chitty, bang, bang out Brother, this chitty, chitty, bang, bang out here, you mess around and won't see, won't see no more. I snatch your eyes out. Put them in my pocket. Then give them back dirty. You understand what I'm saying? People will be dead. You don't want to play the threat game with me. Brother, I take I take your nostril off and put it on the other side so you smell them shit backwards. Okay? Come on, man. Brother, uh, what are the phone booths for? Here on Twitter, guys. What are these things for? So this is Kevin. What are these for? So you can have a call without everybody overhearing you. So this is like for privacy. This is a privacy. Yeah. So, okay, so if I wanted to get away. You guys can't hear me? We can hear you. We can hear you. Just can hear you. Y'all can still hear me? We can still hear you. It's no privacy. It's not in private if y'all can still hear me. Then. Right now we are joined by Ice Cube because of Kevin Hart's not here yet. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, Q. Yeah, you know where he is, man. Up in that strip. <laughs> <laughs> Doodle Brown. <laughs> Man, when he come to work, when he make it to work, it's fine. You know, but if it's if it's uh, fifty cent night at the strip club, he ain't coming. One night, one night, <laughs> one night. <laughs> come in, you lot. He bless us with his presence. Oh, oh, oh damn. Finally. You see? You see? You see? He's been here all day. I was on time. What time did you get, man? Hey. It was on time, I was getting yeah, on time. He was, he was on time. time. First of all, outside, I had to save a baby. Let me tell you what happened. Yeah, right. Let me tell you what happened. Okay. <laughs> it was 50 cent night at the One night, it was 50 wings cent. Wings It was 50 cent wings. Wings and tacos. 50 cent. All you could eat. I had... I collect 50 cent pieces. Don't nobody know what's about. All right, yeah, yeah, that's no, okay. Hey, you know how hard it is to get a 50 cent piece in the thong? They all just slide down. They don't They don't stay there like that. When the car stopped, I grabbed the baby with this hand, and I'm like, oh, my God, everybody's clapping on the street. They're like, oh, they're like, Mike, good job, Mike. Everybody's like, good job, right? Now, after that happens, Cube, here's right, the crazy right. part. Yeah, what's this the crazy, real crazy part? part? I, I think I'm hearing the crazy part. No, no. Did a ride along with Al Roker in Miami? Hey. Hey, yeah. My, yeah. Al. Al, thank you, yeah, Al. Yeah, man, thanks for taking so, us to that spot. Yeah, Al, we didn't know Al knew all the spots. <laughs> Keep going. After I had the baby in the hand, yeah. everybody's clapping. <laughs> I then had to find the mother of the baby. <laughs> Is that right? Can I ask you a question? Go ahead. Was it a boy or girl? See, that's what I'm saying. He's lying. He's lying. He's lying. Where is our spot? Oh, I mean, strip clubs. Yeah. I took us to the strip club. Where else? I, first of all, we, I, I had about $700 in ones. On I've never seen it. I was like, where do you get all these ones from? He's like, when I'm in Miami, I just hold it down. <laughs> Finally get to put this pole to work. <laughs> is that the extra? Le traemos dos modelos aquí. Yeah. 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 They make two kind of women. Yeah. Big old good ones and good old big ones. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like them both. Oh, yeah. oh wow. I love <laughs> it. I love it. Listen, Lee, sing it to her. Come on. You can do it. Put your back into it. Come on. Hey, hey, can do it. Hey, uh, hey, 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 do it. Hey. <laughs> what is up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome oh, today oh, to. <laughs> Cube looking at the ass. Man. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta shake like that. Hey, 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 how you been? I've been good. How How's the been? matter? Everybody good? Oh, everybody good. Yeah, kids, everybody doing what they do. Rounding up. I'm starting to have problems with the youngest. We embrace that Dallas, Texas spirit, man. Got a little cowboy in us today. Yeah. <laughs> Yeehaw. Yeehaw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel right at home. I feel right at home. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cha cha. Step. Cha cha. Step. It's Kevin Hart, and I'm with a pretty gal, and I'm about to do some boot scoop. All right. Show me how it's done. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Ice Cube don't line down. Thank you. Yeah. Come down here. Let me show you how to shimmy. Your shimmy ain't shit. Your shimmy ain't shit. Nobody. 
I'm a rebel. <laughs> I'm out here by myself. A cowboy. That's what's up. <laughs> That's a, a cowboy. I'm a cowboy. That's what's up. Okay, wait a we rode along with them. Now it's time for y'all to ride along with us. We're coming for you. We're coming strong. January 17th. Ride along. That's why I let the arms out today, people. Stop dragging ass. Make sure y'all do what y'all supposed to do. Stop dragging ass. Get up and get yourselves together. Get back to work. Easy work. One, two, three. That's, that's one of them right there. That's easy Let work right there. That's easy. Okay. That's one right there. That's easy work. That's easy work. That's an easy work. That's an easy work. That's an easy work. You got his cousin on your back. This ain't gonna look good, man. Oh. Uh, nah, I'm good. No, don't touch that cue. Slightly. Don't put it around your neck. That's what happened. Snakes are racist. They don't like black. <laughs> so the movie. Black Cube about to die. Kevin what is it? Why is he like that? He's a black-headed person. It's a not gonna hurt you. It did. Say it's cute. You better not put that snake around your neck, brother. You done blacked out. You done came out to Australia and lost it. <laughs> Yeah, 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 we, I can't do it, dude. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'll touch that. I'll touch that right there. Yeah, sweet. A couple of stuffed koalas. I'm beyond with y'all. Y'all might not want to come back here. Y'all going to smell something. Y'all should just <laughs> Is this the beginning of a beautiful friendship? Yep. It might be the beginning of a yep. nightmare. I don't yep. know. Best friends forever. Me and Q, gonna be best friends forever. Everybody on the, on the set would be dying. Oh, oh my God, Kevin, how'd you do it? And I would look at Cube, and he would just be staring. And I'm like, hey man, uh, you need to laugh. You don't break around. You don't break. You don't break. Don't what is break. it, what is it about, I mean, Kevin, what, 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 you know, are you doing it to be mean to Kevin, or he just doesn't make you laugh? Well, Kevin annoys me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Ah, I saw you. I Yeah. It's annoying. Annoying. Really? I can't believe that didn't Did you make go to the laugh. Kevin Hart School of Comedy? <laughs> Charlie Day, the white version of Kevin Hart. Oh, Lord have mercy. Nobody want to be the white version of Kevin Hart. Nobody want to be the black version of Kevin Hart. So I'm curious, when you guys first met, did you like each other? What was the dynamic like? We did not like I didn't each like other because oh, no. we was, was actually playing basketball yeah. against each other. That's how you in guys a celebrity met. Celebrity basketball league. I didn't like the know, fact so. that Cube shorts didn't fit correctly. Like I don't like it when guys wear basketball shorts and they bunch all up in the front. It's really personal. <laughs> yeah, his little his little what? jingle bells was hanging out his shorts, oh. and nobody wants to see that. What was your first meeting like? Way back when. <laughs> He fouled me on the basketball court. Yeah. yeah. It was just hard. No. He took a charge, but it was a block. And, man, we tumbled to the ground. And, and we I, won. And he said, uh, hey, cheap he, said, he said, sorry about that, cube." And I said, man, shoot that little Kevin. Man, God, watch out. Get on my yeah. foot. Kevin Hart is how tall? A, 5'2", B, 5'4", C, 5'5", five, five, or D, 5'7"? 4'6". No, come on, man. That's mm. just, that's ridiculous. <laughs> uh, Jumbo Midget. What, what are you, no. what is that? <laughs> what does that mean? I mean, Jumbo no. Midget is what? That's ridiculous. What, 5'11 and all? Does that over? even exist? <laughs> what is it? It's 5'4". Uh, what's that? I try to... For the framing, we need to put you in a You're too small for the Just camera. pan the camera down. I don't need to sit in the booster seat. Nice one. You gotta get the custom. Here <laughs> <laughs> comes the airplane. airplane. What are you talking about? Can we open the hanger? Airplane. Can you open your hanger? <laughs> Bitch, you better get off my face, man! What is it? It's apricot. 
I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I ain't opening no hanger, though. Okay. I'll take it just because I want a snack. Uh, Hattie! <laughs> you want Troublemaker? Little hunk? Give me, huh? give me the Troublemaker, man. Let me tell you something about me and Our chemistry, first of all, this, this is good. Hey, huh? 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 How many keys is on that? <laughs> hey, just tell me how many keys is... Let me see it, man. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Ow! Patty! 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 He's a little touched. What was it like working together uh, on Ride Along? Temper tantrums. You know what I'm saying? What makes you think I'm uh, a tantrum all the uh, time? Crayons all over the dress. Because room. I like to draw. You know what I'm saying? Just little bitty oh. baby oh. Well, How does it feel to work with Kevin Hart? It's cool. You know, Kevin's an asshole, so, you know, after you get past that, you know. I am a diva. You know what I mean? Diva the hell out. So, it's unlike any other comedian I work with. All the other comedians I work with was cool, but I don't know what's up with Kevin. You know, Kevin's a dick. <laughs> Here's the number one rule in Hollywood don't work with no animals don't work with no kids i agree i did I all agree. we there yet and they're 10 times more professional than this one you got you know what you got another thing coming i don't know if we could do that no. <laughs> lots of memory lots of memorable moments because i think i gave you a lot of memorable moments <laughs> yeah he gave me a lot of memorable moments i love going home from the set every day <laughs> what year was ice cube born in Born in 1956. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's 1969. Uh, South Carolina. You want to sign straight out of Compton? I can't. How am I sign straight out of Compton over the phone, man? <laughs> now, let's see. Uh, hmm. Okay. All right. Man, this. These questions is coming fast <laughs> as hell. You can't you just talk. Look, guys, stop confusing Cube. All right? Y'all know Cube is older, so this new generation shit confuses him. Don't type too many questions fast. Do group answers. Yes, 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 yes. No, 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 no. Okay? Give me the, give it back, young punk. <laughs> Favorite video game of all time, man. I'm going to have to go with Metal Gear Solid. Probably one of the most realistic video games that, that get, simulated man, any type on, of man. Navy SEAL behavior. Talk about this new fangled, new fang. We're talking what? about of all time, man. Of all time. Talking about Pac-Man. What are you talking about, dude? What? What? Of all time. What? Why? What? Grandpa? You guys are like gamers. Like, um, I play. Do you I play, play games? Play. Yeah. What sort of games do you play? What, what are you into? Pac-Man. No, that's, Pac that's, that's Donkey not. Kong. No, yeah. that's not Old gaming. Defender. Yes. He you know what I mean? <laughs> on, on Super the, Mario Brothers. No, on system the systems yeah, of one. today. He's not a gamer, this is my world. It's not his world. He's old. <laughs> no, don't do that. That's not, that's not nice. On today, ColecoVision. No, 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 brother, he's Play over here. In television. <laughs> We're talking retro. about Odyssey. And retro is cool. Retro is cool. Atari 2600. <laughs> yeah. No, 5200. No, what you mean? brother, that's the same thing, <laughs> man. Oh. CQ, that's your problem. You ain't no gamer, baby. You ain't about this life. Oh, they, oh. Oh! Oh! You must get a little arthritis in them fingers, No, no, give me one more. I was I do see them gray hairs popping and shit. This is the favorite movie of Ice Cube. Easy. Uh, 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 Sleepless in Seattle. No. That's your movie. No. Yes, it is. Oh, yes, Kevin. It is. You love that movie. It's E.T. Oh, oh Everybody that. knows it. What year did Kevin Hart host the MTV Video Music Awards? Uh, <laughs> shit, man. Uh, 2012? Yes. Oh, oh, it's one apiece. It's one apiece. Oh, lucky ass. Who's the sensible one? Me? Yes. <laughs> Kevin don't do nothing sensible. <laughs> Everything Kevin do is... Uh, in a former lifetime, I know you were a shoe salesman. I was. Yeah. He sold shoes to look up ladies' dresses. No, I didn't... <laughs> That's what he did. That's what he did. Don't believe that. Don't believe that. 
Oh, just tell me that shoe. Right here? Yeah, you tell me that okay, shoe. Okay, this is exactly how I would say this yeah. shoe. First of all, ma'am, you look like a person with high arches. If you do, this is the shoe for you. Why? Because you want to go with a smaller heel. Not too thick of a heel for support. I know that you walk hard. Being that you do, and you're four foot, I put a little more cushion in that. Being that I think you're stylish, threw a little bit of leopard on there for you. <laughs> Could Kevin be your brother-in-law? Yeah, yeah, he can, because, you know, Kevin got a lot of money. And <laughs> I'll, let, okay. I'll let anybody take my sister. So with that combination of anybody can have my sister because I don't want them. And with Kevin having some money, I'm like, girl, you better get that. You better get your, you better, hey, hey, whatever. If he don't come home, you, you just take that. You just whatever he want to do. You just let him do it. If he say, bitch, I'm going to the moon, you say, you be careful. Yeah. <laughs> you got Miley Cyrus, okay. Rihanna, okay. and Beyonce. Who would you ride along with? Uh, I got to go. Rihanna. Because she's probably the only one that's going to have some weed. Rihanna. <laughs> and the one that's going to have, you know, that's going to roll out and be, you know, be like the homegirl. Everybody else is a little diva out. And Rihanna looks like, you know, hit the McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> Ride along, kill, arrest. Snoop Dogg, mm -hmm. Suge Knight, mm -hmm. Kanye West. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna ride with Snoop because he the homie. You know what I mean? I'm gonna arrest Suge because he used to it. <laughs> and I'm gonna kill Kanye <laughs> just because I don't know him. <laughs> I always tell the truth even when I lie. Ah, that's Golden Girls. Scarface, Tony Montana. No, no, no. Scarface. Blanche said that. Favorite a movie you've ever cried along to? Oh man, uh, it has to be uh, The Godfather. Well, nobody ever believes me when I'm telling the truth. Ah, Scarface. That's Scarface when he appeared on The Golden Girls. <laughs> <laughs> Shot one of them. I have to give it to you again because it's partially. It is The Golden Girls. Um, yeah. Your favorite song to ride along to? Justin Bieber, Sorry. Oh. Justin <laughs> I love Ice Cube's face. Uh -huh. When they put me in a prison, I'll be brave. I can handle it. Oh, that was Blanche. How'd you know yeah. that? <laughs> you get to an abandoned lighthouse, and One Direction are trapped in there, and they're surrounded by their hardcore fans. Please get them action. What do you do? I gotta go save them. Partner, I got this one. I love One Direction. Over here in the UK, One Direction is huge. I'm just telling you, Cube. I don't know if you know that. I'm, huge. I, I'm slow to the scene. <laughs> I'm slow to the scene. One direction is dead. Oh, oh yeah. Nobody told me to tell you. What's the address again? Everybody know I don't like no goddamn roller coasters. Because if you ask me to do it, I try to overcome my fear and get on a roller coaster. Look at my damn face. Cube said, Kevin, get on a roller coaster for me for riding along two promo. I said, fine, I'm going to overcome my fear. Yay, yay. My name is Ice Cube and I hate to laugh. I hate showing my teeth. Yay, yay. I'm serious all the time. What's going on, Chicago? Oh, yay, What's up? Yay. What's up? Hey, out of Compton. Yay, yay. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be a sailboat in a yeah, second yeah. too. Yay, yay. Yay, yay. Yay, yay. When people see me, they be like, yo, Cube. Yay, yay. Hey, hey. <laughs> Kev, did you like wait for him to say that when you were on the set of Ride Along well, too? Well, it's funny because we, we both got similar sayings. Mine just, no, uh, we don't. Mine no, we just, don't. Hey, hey. Oh, yeah, oh, so what? sometimes we bump heads because I'll say mine at the same time. Like, do, do it. No. <laughs> we'll go see Ride Along. Yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. And you can get your advance tickets now, Stop. right now. Yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Stop that. Yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. And, and uh, Q, we'll see you in March for the... Uh, for the crew. Oh, yay, 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 it's crazy, but you know, it's just a thing with us artists. It's not a thing with us at hey, all. Hey, hey. <laughs> no, Kevin, that's whack. Hey, hey. <laughs> Gentlemen, my two favorite guys right here. Yeah, yeah. You know it was a year ago that yeah, you were- Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's whack. I'm glad I got that out of you, by the way. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Every time you make your noise, I'm gonna make my noise. Get your bird. Is that your noise? That's my noise. Cube taught me how to rap uh, and say, yay, yay. And uh, say, get in the car. Get, 
get in the car. He thinks that's his impersonation of me. Listen, my name is Ice Cube. Go get in the car. That's whack. <laughs> that's whack. And I knew Cube back in my uh, L.A. radio days. Did so, you remember uh, that? Yeah, man, shut up. When, what, what days? Radio days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in a hardcore West Coast gangster rap. You know, that's what I do. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Old, bad impression. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We no. all need to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's how that, you say it. That wasn't yeah. even Show Kevin yeah. how to do it. It's one, two, three. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm one of the coolest dudes <laughs> ever. I'm one of the coolest dudes ever. We got love for each other, Steve. It's all love, baby. A pimp. <laughs> Say something nice to the people, man. Go, get in the car and come ride along. Uh, don't, don't hit me. Oh, uh, how you that's, do your little That's, f- that's uh, stupid. You're uh, an asshole. Oh, my God. You're an asshole. That's uh, uncalled uh, for. What did you do? Uh, 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 <laughs> oh! 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 Your immortal line, my, my stomach in my ass. My stomach's in my ass. <laughs> my yeah. Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. Craig. Yeah. <laughs> Craig. Yeah. The slap on the legs, yeah. we did it. Let me hold your VCR right quick. Yeah. Or an accident burrows. Let me hold your VCR right quick. What? Your VCR, I want to tape something. <laughs> What's my English oh, accent please, like? Don't ask. Oh, do you have one? Do you want to know what my English accent's like? That's what? right. Hey, does anybody know why I get some nutty butter? No, I want to get a little nutty butt and some tea. <laughs> Maybe a brisket on the That's side. That's every American. <laughs> That's Maybe how they do, isn't go it? Go for it. Yeah, is our visit family friendly? Oh, the short voice Wait, the Wait is, this, is this the humor of the show? You want to see us on the telly? Hey, would we be able to get some tea? Is it a little nippy outside? Quite nippy. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's quite, it is quite nippy it's outside. It's quite nippy Absolutely outside. Gunter has a good security. Get your Gunter Hansu Gunter ass out of here. Uh, uh, Ice Cube, we could be related. Because, um, <laughs> apparently, apparently, there's some Irish stock in your past. No. <laughs> You know, she liked the name. She liked yeah. how it rolls off the tongue. And, you know, he got a theory about black mamas. Black mamas just pick a name out the hat, man. Something happened. <laughs> yeah. There's no, it's no theme to it. <laughs> Mother was reading the paper, and she was eating some cereal. And somebody in the back said, oh, Shay. She said, that'd be a good name. <laughs> See that? Uh-huh. That's how black people hunt. No, that was white. Yeah. It's like a song. You like that cube? You like that song? Sucks. Your song was crazy. We was over here just nodding our head. That bass line That's is sick. That's what about the bass line. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah. Thank you. That's how you get to black people with a strong bass <laughs> been in the end zone lots of times and let me tell you something when I get in there I dance what do you mean you dance you know what I'm talking about no I don't we're talking about <laughs> man oh <laughs> Coleman didn't get the metaphor yeah. he didn't get it <laughs> my god yeah, yeah. Which, yeah. would That's you right. hold my hand what, what's going on wait what <laughs> we're gonna go for a little walk we're come going on for a come walk. on guys we're, we're just gonna we're go going, for a walk over here's the thing about black people we don't go nowhere unless we know what's going on <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess, it was a G thing. I had, no, Colin, that's not, you can't just be wrong about What was wrong about me saying, was it a G thing? No, it's just something that white guys probably only say when they're around black guys. Yeah, it's it's exactly. I'm going to be honest, I don't say that a lot. I can tell. And I need some help with how to be a little bit more. Cool. Look, basically more black, basically. Man, <laughs> Thanks for being, yo. Movies are freaking smash. Yeah. Took it to Miami. It's yo, man. Yeah. Must have enjoyed it at Miami. Yeah. 305. Yeah. Yo. Put out the purple, purple devil, devil, bro. They set the tone and everyone followed it. It was a dope thing. Smash that, man. <laughs> yes, brother! Yes. Be yourself, Andre, right. and get broke off. That's the best endorsement I can get. Next time I talk to a girl, I'll be like, Kevin Hart and Ice Cube endorses that you should we be with me. Three 40s. 40s. 
We need some Swisher sweets. Swisher sweets. We need. You need Chico sticks. What? What's the? What's a Chico? Just ask for it, Cody. Why you got the? <laughs> So why? <laughs> Tell her you the booger with the sugar. <laughs> yeah. On the booger with the sugar. Ain't nobody better than me. <laughs> On the booger with the sugar. Sh- Whoa! I want some. God dang! Yeah! Hey, hey, hey. yeah. <laughs> Get us some lottery tickets. Lottery tickets? Yeah, just in case. Some scratches. You got a number you like? No, Cody, just get the tickets! <laughs> People gotta be technical all the time. Are you really there? Yeah. yeah. Roy's rolls no, can't no. be that big. First of all, it looks like I grew up there. <laughs> A black person, just celebrate her. Yeah. 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 What's I'm the called? only black guy there that day. <laughs> I feel right at home. I feel right at home. Today was a good day. Don't do that. It's a famous song. It's his famous song. He just doesn't like him. I quote his songs. It's better when Ice Cube says it. <laughs> Your ass too flat. I need a big, uh, I need a butt big enough that can clap. Yep. I was gonna say. You can't that was, I was gonna say that's not you. No, that's not yours, that's right there. I think that was your line. That's my line that's from KB. I oh, lethal injection, 1993. Damn. Damn. Would you ever consider collaborating together? Oh yeah. What? what, what? Oh yeah. Rapping and joking. What is? No, what no. you mean? We rapping and rapping. In Manchester with my lad. Don't get mad. Get sad. Matter of fact, I'm coming back bad. Look at me. I'm glad. Uh. Ride along too. I thought you knew. You don't. I suggest you take the crew and get back to what you do. Real quick, yeah. Yo, NWA pass, not first but last. Got me mad, I'ma bust his ass. <laughs> yeah. Boo, boo, hoo. Don't cry, just buy. Get your tickets, alibi. Ride along to in theaters, I. Uh, I'm done now. Q, he frowning now. Uh, this new sound. Took it to the US back now. Yeah. Over here in the UK, I sway. But that's only if it's a good day. I'm with my man Cube and we do what we do. We in the movie Ride Along. I suggest you see it too. Ooh. Ooh. Drop it down low. Ooh. Ooh. Bars. Bars. Yeah. Ooh. I'm on fire. Uh, don't desire. Uh, come back higher. Uh, smoke no liar. Hey, Cube, I'm done. I'm going to put the mic down because it was a lot of fun. Manchester, it's for good. Kevin Hart, I won. <laughs> No, no collaborations. No collaborations unless we collaborate. At the end of the day, it makes you contemplate. Oh my God, what am I thinking? I'm stinking, but I'm wrong. Come along with me on this ride along. Oh, sign me. Kev raps, you know no, that. No, 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 hold on. Come on, Sway. No. Long don't, don't ride. Long oh. don't rhyme with long. Hater, fun police. <laughs> Look, man. No, Kev, are we rap. doing a serious interview or are not? We going, are we doing a serious interview? Because if we are, hey, hey. <laughs> we are. That's why I'm asking. I don't know. You know, we talked about studio time. No, we didn't. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I man. said, how much wood could a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? You take that into the studio, that goes to number one. How can I explain it? I'll take it frame by frame. Oh, my goodness. Well, my name's Repping Jono, and I'm here to say I'm here with Ice Cube from NWA. There's Kevin and Ben and the sound guy, too. And we're all here for the Ride Along interview. Boom. Get out. Oh, yes. <laughs> Kick his ass out. Get out. Kick his ass out. Get out. Uh, who would win in a rap battle? Ice Cube. Or chocolate dropper. Oh man, come on now. Yeah, the album. Right. Are we gonna get a chocolate dropper album? You know, right now uh, he's working on a mixtape. Oh, uh, the mixtape is actually uh, is actually an hour and twenty seven minutes long, but it's one song. So right now it's uh it's just groundbreaking. Dope. It's, groundbreaking. it's called three thousand bars. Uh, no, no, it's actually called a million bars. You're Boy. talking about a rap icon, mm. a rap hall of famer. A rap guy, and, and you compared and to you. to 
a figment wow. of... I think, don't be hard on yourself. Kevin Hart's <laughs> imagination. <laughs> it was at a time when music needed to be checked. You know, so that's how I came up with the title. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. What about you, Ice Cube? How's your comedy tour been going uh, recently? <laughs> Great, man. We, I just sold out the, the bar at the hotel. <laughs> I had them laughing at table six, boy. They was cracking up. This is going to be the start of something big. You know what I mean? Money going to come rolling in. <laughs> because I don't want to come off disrespectful, you know, but at the end of the day, Dropper's real, man. Hey, man. Listen, Dropper's got a mixtape you know, coming out that's hey. 67 minutes. Yeah, it's one song. Did you hear that? It's don't trip, song. you know. I got a stand up little thing I got. I'm going to do. You're going to do stand up. Stand up. Really? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, oh. I, I got jokes too. <laughs> um, guy walks into a bar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hilarious, see? You get me, you get me. I hope you're okay. I yeah, you think so? Huh? Like the time my homie was bullying my other homie, and I stopped the bus. I said, "Man, y'all got to fight." Hey, tell me the story. I said, "Y'all got to fight, man." Tell me the story. You know what I mean? Because it's just enough, <laughs> dude. You can't take this from him. <laughs> and got out there, and the dude that was getting bullied <laughs> knocked my man out one punch. He said, "He said he was on the ground." He said, "Where he at?" I was like, "No, nah, no, nah, homie, where you at?" <laughs> Guys, I'm Kevin Hart, and I want to welcome you to season nine of Cold as Balls. The show's getting bigger and better. Why? Well, because we're the same. Nothing's different. And that guy. We. Oh. What up, Kev? Man. What do I got my guy here? <laughs> Jason, man. Why are you acting like that? What do you mean why I'm acting like that? Because I'm excited, man. Put your robe on the hook. Come around, man. Sit on the back of the tub. Oh, I appreciate you. you. gave me a, a reason to take my shirt off. Oh, man. Oh, come on now. Looking like Marvin Gaye in his prom. You took your tats off? God. Leroy, move. Do it right. What up, Jason? Oh, my God. Here we go, baby. We out here. <laughs> Leroy, go. Go. That's my double. When you do big movies like I do, you get a double. So places I don't want to be, I send Lee Royal. And he knows all my mannerisms. What's, what big movie? What? What do you mean, what big movie? Which movie that have I done is not big? Lee Royal, do me a favor. I'm going to need you to get in the tub. So, Jason, uh, you know I got injured, right? Being an athlete that I am. <laughs> so, in this case, I can't do what I normally would do with you sit in the tub because I can't lift my leg up. Bam, set me up. All right, Jason, so just give me a second. <laughs> okay, let me get myself together. It's gonna be a real good one. Watch out. Don't put your shoes here so somebody can fall over the goddamn shoes. You, I tell you, listen, you don't listen. Make it look like I'm in the tub while I'm not in the tub. Don't get the chair, right? Crop it, right? Keep it here, cowboy. No wides. All right. Some shit my grandpa is sitting there. Don't start your shit, man. Not today. Welcome to an all-new episode of Coldest Balls, and today's episode will be a special one. Guys, we got Jason Tatum on the show, right? Yay. <laughs> Yay. You, stop. You f***ing with me, man. Stop do- Leroy, go. That's it. Because you, it's too much. And What's I can't, his name? His, his name is Leroy. Make sense? Yeah. Get out. I got a surprise for you. A little gift. This is my son's jersey, but they told me it might fit. And I know how much you love the Celtics. Just try it for hey, me, please. Come on, man. This is how I get deuce dressed in the morning. Hey, give me the goddamn jersey. I knew it would fit. Look good on you, too. It actually don't fit bad. <laughs> it's like a two... It's a two-T? Something like that. Deuce on the back. Yeah. Shouts out the deuce. Thank you. I'm not going to disrespect it. Appreciate that. I think we got to start from the beginning, man. As a guy of amazing talent. Basketball wasn't the first choice. You were singing, correct? <laughs> I wanted to be a model. Didn't work. I get a lot of compliments. From who? You know, people on the street, uh, at the people, gas station. People on the street, bam. What the fuck? <laughs> you know, I go pump my gas and they be like, you're a lot more handsome than I thought. You know, they're called crackheads who are looking for money. <laughs> Okay, here's a quick question for you, man. Tell me something that you work on daily. Um, the 
everyday. You want to have this type of pause if you worked on it daily? I like to think before I answer. If it was something I worked on daily, I would tell you what it was. Kevin, what do you work on daily? My chest. No. <laughs> you work out? Every f day. So that's how you hurt your groin. What do you work on every day, man? Being the best dad I can be. Why do you have to think about that? I don't get asked that question every day. You don't love your son. <laughs> <laughs> that should have been the first thing out of your mouth. No, what do you do? Uh, shit. damn. Uh, you said you work on your chest, so I didn't know which direction we was going. I don't personally give a fuck about my kids. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's obviously two differences in parenting that we have. You know, this is a great segue, man, because what I work on daily uh, is pretty much using Old Spice Gentleman's deodorant. <laughs> White hand? Mm, thank you. Old Spice Gentleman's deodorant. 24-7 lasting freshness with daily use. White hand? Thank you. Basketball, basketball has always been the one. When was the real moment of like, I'm a f***ing NBA basketball star now? Getting drafted by far is the best day of my life. Yeah. You know, I started playing basketball when I was three, four years old, and I got drafted when I was 19. I worked at something for 15 years mm -hmm. until my dream came true. Before the NBA, of course, you got the world of getting scouted. Is it then immediately that you go, I'm going? After my freshman year of high school is when I was like, the NBA is within arm's reach. You know, you 14, you're playing with guys at 17, 18, and I was dominating. Dominating? I mean, we got we got film, things like yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, but you were a freshman, and I think you, you were doing well, dominating. I had scholarship offers from every school in the country at 14, humbly. Doesn't sound humble to me. <laughs> you asked the question. All right, man, come on, in the tub. In the tub, man. Oh, oh, man. Ooh, it's cold, man. Ooh. I do that for the edit to make it look like I'm in the tub. I gotta talk about this, man, because it's something else that I think I'm extremely envious of. My hair. No. I know you wish you had curly hair. I don't wish I had that hair. It's a toupee. I woke up, I threw some water on, I walked out the door. Have you ever seen Jason Tatum in a game do this to his hair? You've never seen him do it. You know why? Because it'll fall off. He always does this, like, ah, oh, and when he gets ready to do it, he remembers last minute. He goes, ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you get signed to Jordan. That moment for you, was that a little surreal? Yeah, it was because Michael Jordan hand selects the guys that, you know, he wants a part of the brand. Was that your like, holy shit, like I made it? It was up there. Rightfully so. Um, now, you know, the conversation that always presents itself in the NBA is the top five. You put yourself in that top five conversation now? Yeah, I, mm -hmm. uh, absolutely. Do you feel that the awareness from the journalists around the league are finally respecting the role of Jason Tatum? That is a slippery slope because those aren't the guys you're trying to impress. It's your peers, mm -hmm. right? It's the guys that you compete against. So you've never let the critics and shit get to you? No, for sure it has. Everybody with hair like that gets bothered. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Hey, move the seat and get in the tub all the way in it like me. For the edit, this is where you come just here, right? And we're gonna superimpose this. We'll put this here later. Ooh, it's cold. Come on, man, sit down. I don't know why you cold. You see all this guy Ooh. here? Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what the hell? Leroy, come out here and get in the tub so I can use this for the edit. Come on, man. Roll off. Leroy, what are you? All right. What are you doing? What size is that? Did he give you a baby one, too? I told you, why you got him black? Clearly, say, well, you see what I got on. All right, Jason, the one thing that, of course, you desperately want is the NBA championship. Mm -hmm. How close do you feel that the Boston Celtics are? Uh, our team looks a little different, which I'm excited and sad about. Like, Smart and, and Grant are gone, but we got some great new additions. One thing that stands in the way of that, of course, are the Philadelphia 76ers. Do they? We will. Okay. Eventually. Oh, no. No more ice. Oh. Oh, man, it's cold. God damn. F*** y'all, man. You're a good actor. When I cut this together, I will be. It's going to look like I'm in a goddamn tub. I'm shift gears, man. You're getting business savvy at a young age. What is it that made you kind of draw attention to that space while playing? Taking advantage of using your name and your likeness while you're playing and mm -hmm. while you're the most relevant. Mm -hmm. And then as I got to be around people like you that have um, been mentors and mentors is... What the f*** is this? I ain't want to give you too much credit. We were having a great moment. I take it back. I mean, so unnecessary. 
What are some of the most exciting things that you feel you're doing in that space? We've started a uh, candy company called Small Wins. You just dropped the candy line? Yes, we did. So uh, you go on Amazon. Okay. It's a healthier option, right? When you say Small Wins, is it based off of like just coming up short all the time? You know, you're a comedian, but all your jokes are supposed to be funny. That you said it's called funny. Small Wins, and I'm saying, are you equating that, that to, one the, wasn't to funny. the like the small version of the win? Because you you won stuff, but it was the small stuff. It must be cool to pay people to laugh at your jokes. I don't pay nobody to laugh at my f-ing jokes. Leroy, don't laugh. <laughs> sound like a gremlin. No, it sounds exactly like a good laugh. Down, laugh. I haven't paid him in three weeks. Bam Bam? Bam Bam? Where the f*** is Bam Bam? Well, he too big to sneak out. Bam Bam? Bam Bam. At King James is Kevin Hart's best friend from Long Beach. I met Kevin Hart once. Follow back. (laughs) What does that have to do with Jason Tatum? You ever, like, tweeted some things that came back? It's never happened to me. Ironclad over here, baby. When I first got my Twitter, I was like 13. My dad's best friend is Larry Hughes. And I tweeted LeBron to follow me, and I was like name dropping that I was Larry Hughes' godson. What an idiot. And when we played him in the playoffs my rookie year, you know, how things resurfaced, and it was a big deal. What an idiot, Leroy. I was 13. I mean, yeah, he probably still doesn't follow you until this day. (laughs) I wouldn't. Let's talk about your locker room. You been in a locker room before? I've been in a lot of locker rooms. The Sixers, I go in that locker room after the games. I'm telling the guys, good game. Uh, good luck you know, next time. I know, what? You tell them good luck next time. In that locker room, do you find yourself having to be a stronger voice more than often? I've been in the playoffs every year. I've been in multiple big games. I get it. I, you know, I'm just trying to paint the picture. Well, we know. Home. You don't have to keep f- bragging. Like, what is this? I've been in the playoffs every year. I've been in the Eastern Conference Finals, been in the Finals, you know, um, high school, every college wanted me. Look at my hair, uh, Duke, whatever. I went there. Like, what the f***, man? You don't hear me bragging. You said you're a big movie star. And yes, I, I am. Paper right Soldiers. On no, Paper Soldiers. Soul Plane. You don't start there, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Leroy will laugh. <laughs> we'll edit that. <laughs> you guys dealt with like a real uh, debacle. The coach that was doing a very good job, coach gets removed. We find out two days before mm-hmm. training camp that we're gonna have a new coach. I remember I talked to the team and I was like, yo, we have a decision to make. We could either separate or we could bring us together. Mm-hmm. And I think we just made a conscious decision that it's gonna make us tougher and better. And- Come on, man, that's too much ice. Oh, oh. Tight on me. Oh. We'll fix it in post. Uh, what are the hobbies outside of the game? I love to play golf. I don't play golf because the clubs are too big. Deuce has clubs. Okay. So Will you stop with the, the deuce? I'm just saying they make them in all shapes and sizes. Okay. How come they don't talk about you being good? Like, do people know you play? I played in my first PGA Pro-Am. They talk about Steph Curry playing golf. He grew up playing. Excuses! <laughs> I Excuses. wish I grew up playing golf. So you're not that good. You do comedy movies, right? The, what the f- was that? And the times that you ventured off to do serious films, it's like... He's trying. What? <laughs> um, you guys don't know it, but I talk a lot of shit. Jason actually likes to talk a little shit too. The Philadelphia 76ers and Boston series last year, ultimately Jason got the last laugh. I think he gave us a 50 piece. 51. Okay, same thing. And during a live TV interview, he dedicated this game to Kevin Hart. I wouldn't say I dedicated it to you. Yeah, you did. I just said, I hope we can remain friends, and if I call you, that you will respond. I have not picked up your call since, and I'm not. I think that was the biggest a- move I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I wouldn't have done it to you. But what I will say is this. You created something that now we can follow and stay true to. So the road to success, it will always have to go through Philadelphia. And one day, Philadelphia will stop you. That day is coming, Jason. Winter is coming. I do remember after we beat y'all, I was like, yo, the next big time movie you're in, could I make a cameo? I have a great role for you in the movie that we're doing. And it's a role for dickhead number one. (laughs) And 
this guy comes in the scene. <laughs> like the guy's like, hey, excuse me, sir. And I say, shut up, dickhead. Cut. That's a rap on Jason Tatum. Uh, Jason, man, I can joke around all day, but the one thing I will never joke around about is that you're 25 years old, sitting at the top of a mountain. Brother, don't drop the ball. You're doing amazing shit. Oh, no more, Daryl. I'm too cold. I'm too cold. No, Daryl. No, man. Oh, you got me good. In the edit. It's going to be great in the edit.